Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have another ATX mainboard. This time we have an X470 Gaming Plus from MSI. This is an AM4 board. This board came to me for the following reason. It is stuck on VGA LED. Um, this has onboard debug LEDs, as you can see right there. The first one is um, CPU, I think. Then we have DRAM, then VGA, and then boot. So it's stuck on the third LED. So this owner already powered up this mainboard multiple times. So I'm not going to make any initial checks for shorts or anything. I'm instantly going to build this board up and we're going to confirm the issue with known good parts that we have. And we're going to take a look at the power consumption from our power supply. And now we are built up. As you can see, we have RAM in here, we have a CPU. This is our 2600X. We have a GPU. We're going to connect our DVI so that we have a display output. I'm using the PCA postcard right here and the DDR postcard right there. If there's going to be anything interesting on them, I'm going to tell you, but you should have a look at these post LEDs for now. I'm going to tell you the post codes. If we see anything special, let's turn on our power supply and we see about 110 milliamps, that's quite normal. Um, we're going to attach also a speaker. And now let's do the first startup together. I can also, we're going to have this window shown for you right here. This window that you can see right here is the post coming from our graphics card. So now back in focus and let's see, pressing the power button. Contra looks good, 3 amps, postcodes are running on both of my postcards, we had CPU, you can see these RAM slots are detected at the top, 7 amps, looks very good, still on CPU, and turn on and off, which is a good sign, now we are on VGA, back to CPU, And VGA once more and boot and we have picture hmm that's quite interesting and we are in BIOS very well I'm going to build this board up more I'm going to put an actual CPU cooler onto there I'm going to put all the RAM in there and we're going to test with a big GPU and we're going to see what it does one moment please and now we are already back. I got the board built up right now. As you can see, 4 sticks of RAM. This is a total of 20 GB of RAM. We have a CPU cooler attached. We have a big graphics card this time. This is an RX Vega 64. Because what I want to do is uh, I want to show or I wanted to see if all the PCIe lanes work on this. So I'm going to, we're going to go over to the picture of the post actually and not going to show you this anymore so we're going to have this as our main screen and as you can see right here this is our board now booted up fully now what i want to see is in tech power up for G uh, gpu z we want to open this up as we can see right now it is in pcie 16 x by 3 ohm so all the PCIe lanes do work. What I now want to do is I always test USB. As you can see, the mouse is connected via USB. I test some SATA ports. The uh, SSD that we're currently using with the Windows install is also connected via SATA. Then there should also be another SSD. Yeah, it is right here. This is our NVMe SSD. So it recognizes that as well and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do a couple of benchmarks I'm going to run Fermark, I'm going to run ha Haven benchmark and most importantly I'm going to run Linpack um, to have a stress test on the system that stresses the RAM, the CPU and the GPU and when all of that is done I will come back to you so right now you can see the end of Linpack we have two passes Right here, both took approximately the same time. This was an 8 gigabyte run. This was just a stress test and it, uh, it had passed without any issue. And now we have Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0 ran through. Uh, 
I got to be honest, I don't really know if the score is accurate or not, or if anything should be or shouldn't be interesting here, but the important thing for me, it passed, uh, it didn't crash, that's all I'm testing right here. And now for the final thing that I'm testing is the RAM, as you can see, 20 gigs of installed RAM, so that also works. I'm going to take a USB stick and plug it into some of the USB ports. Uh, to make sure that they are working. Ethernet is also working as you can see in the bottom right here. So that is mostly it of what I would test onto on this board of things that might be wrong but as far as I can, as I can see there's nothing wrong with this board anymore or who knows if there ever was. Well then, today we are finishing on a little bit of a different view. This is our main board. We're running right here. Wanted to change it up a little bit. But what can I say? The board works. There has to be had to be something wrong with the test setup that the previous owner was using. Because I didn't do anything to this board to be perfectly honest. I checked the CMOS battery and I had almost three volts, so I don't think that's a problem as well. Maybe he had uh, unsupported CPU in there or something like that. I cannot tell you, but it works flawlessly. I've stress tested this, used the USB, used the SATA, used the NVMe, the RAM, the CPU, everything. I can't think of anything else. Like I'm not going to check every single port on this board because I don't think there's anything wrong with this. And yeah, as a conclusion, what can I say? Magic fingers, getting lucky, who knows? But this board, as far as I can tell right now, is fixed and is done. This is an X470 MSI, pretty nice board. Yeah, hopefully the next time we're going to have something more interesting where I can actually fix something. Because this was just testing methodically and seeing if it works. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and hit the noti bell. Hopefully to see you in the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.